you know this video actually turned out pretty cool and just like you I don't like watching 15 minute demonstration videos with something that can be explained in like 10 seconds but I actually learned a couple of things and there's a couple of cool stupid pet tricks I did during this experiment that you might want to check out some good information on here too so what I'm doing is using the traditional you know ubiquitous kilowatt meter to show you how much power this four cup Mr. Coffee Maker consumes. It's about 615 watts and I sped it up here because again I don't like long videos. It takes about five and a half minutes with just water. I'm just doing water. There's no coffee in there. And a quick little temperature test. It's about 150 degrees. Definitely hot enough. And how many kilowatt hours? And that works out to 0 0.05 is what it says. Quick little math, about six one thousandths of one cent if you're using the 12 cent American average. Just Google it. You know, prices may vary, but six one thousandths of a cent. So now I'm setting up this Reliance Controls UL listed watt and amp meter. Do a little comparison, see what this one reads. Check this out. 585 watts and the kilowatt meter read 615 was it so about a 30 watt difference and here I just put the little timer and there to show you how long it takes it's just under five minutes and switch this over to amps and this is just right when it switched off but the hot plate on these mr. coffee four cuppers turn on too and it goes back up to 600 watts or so so which one's better kilowatt meter or this reliance controls I actually like them both uh, the kilowatt meter of course shows the kilowatt hours but the reliance controls looks like it's way more accurate you all list it too alright guys thanks for watching and hope you enjoy this video